Hey guys, Mike Sorg, basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com, and I got one for you tonight about how you're managing your Twitter and how you keep an eye on things, especially those guys with multiple accounts out there. So, um, but please check out everything out, Sorgatron.com. Uh, subscribe to the newsletter, please, over there. And uh, please also, you know, check out the show, check out the Power Hour, check out everything going on over there. I'm not even wearing my headphones. Wow, I'm really off the cuff for that. You can tell it's a subject that just kind of came up, and I was like, dude, we got to record. Um, so, I, I want to talk about it a little bit. So you guys may notice sometimes as I'm waving my arms around like I'm Italian or something. I'm not. Uh, am I offending anybody this episode? Ah, we'll find out later. Uh, but uh, I got this nice, uh, and maybe my pop screen is, is going weird. I'm working on it. Um, but I got this this Pebble watch, right? And, uh, and it's uh, old school. It's the simplest of, of things. It's the, it's the Kickstarter edition, you know, that I got off of a... A friend I traded my Google Glass for full story somewhere on the awesome cast. And I, you know, somebody, some people may notice that they're talking with me. This thing buzzes a lot, right? It goes off a bit. It used to be my phone that went off all the time. And I'd have to, I, that's why I have not had the audio on my phone on for several years because I just get way too many notifications because I'm just doing a lot of social media, pretty much. So um, there's a thing that I do that. So again, I'm managing podcast uh, accounts, other accounts, my company account, uh, client accounts, and there's a lot of automation that's happening. There's a lot of I gotta have to set it up and go, you know, partially because of the situation. It's not the way I like to do things when it comes to these things. I want to be more on there and authentic, uh, but but I have to, right? Or maybe I have other people working on an account as well, and they're live tweeting things that I can't get to. So wherever I'm at, I'm like, oh cool, Mad Mike's live tweeting his Wednesday night stuff, and I'm keeping up on that, I'm making sure he's not saying something that I don't want me to go over there. And that's you know things where. Um, certain language or certain things or hey man i think you're being a little too hard on things or hey man don't make that fan cry that's talking with you on twitter or, or you know stuff like that that's not these are actual examples of things that happen per se maybe but how am i doing this right and why am i doing this I think it's important if you're managing accounts like that to um, basically have an all awareness especially if multiple people are working on those accounts, being those other co-workers or, or, or co-hosts for a podcast or whatever the case may be, right? You want to make sure you know what's going on so you don't lose context or you know that somebody isn't reacting to something that went kind of south, like a bad tweet or a bad context or, or uh, you know, uh, geez, a shooting happened at the mall and we have a tweet that goes out and says, hey, let's go, out. great day for the mall, right guys? Uh, you know, that you put out as a promotional thing and you see that pop out and you're just like, oh crap, who scheduled that? And you happen to know what's going on with the news. It's kind of a grand example, but but still like that kind of context. And we've seen a lot of companies burned by stuff like that, right? And you know it was automated tweets whenever that was happening. It's not somebody sitting there like, do, 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 oh, what happened? Um, so I think it's important what I do is I, I, you know, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you can actually set up for certain accounts that tweet um, will go to your notifications on your phone. iPhone, Android doesn't really matter. So when you go in there, you can set up for, uh, you know, go to somebody's account. Like, so I want to go to uh, my buddy Chachi. Chachi, Chachi says it on, on Twitter. Uh, he, he's my best friend. I want to know every time he tweets. I want to make sure I'm interacting with him and making sure that that's happening. Or somebody important. Like uh, I have, uh, there's a certain writer that I follow, another podcaster, Andy Anako. Uh, I'm very interested in what he has to say. He's one of the very few people I turn on the notifications for. But then I go and set those for all the accounts that I'm working with. Um, or clients of mine, or clients I'm advising, because I want to see how they're using Twitter, so I can say, you know, more than just looking at that list and say, okay, four o'clock, five o'clock, you know, and, and looking at it in a linear fashion, I want that context. I want to look at my watch and say, oh, that guy, that guy keeps tweeting at eleven thirty at night, but he's he's trying to promote an event that's in a Pittsburgh area, and I don't think his audience is awake at eleven thirty at night, midnight per se, but I know that's when he's tweeting. We need to have a discussion about how he's scheduling these things for context, right? Um, and the nice thing is everything that you set up for a notification on your phone, if you have a smartwatch, whatever the case may be, again, it's something cheap. You know, it doesn't need to be fancy. It doesn't need to be an Apple watch at $10,000 or even $500 or something of that fashion. Uh, but then 
um, it comes right here. So if I see something weird and I look down and it's like, oh, that's a thing that just went out. I got to go do damage control. Social media, you have to be reactive. You have to be reactive. I, I have clients that, that, that I'm supposed to work X amount of hours on a certain day, but if a certain thing comes over the wire and I'm seeing a, a you know, I start seeing at replies, for instance, that are like, well, that's not interesting. That's not right. And, and it sounds, it looks like something that you need to react to. You can't wait till Monday morning. That's how I think Pampers got screwed because there's a lot of stuff happened over the weekend. The intern or whatever got in Monday morning to deal with the Twitter and was like, oh no, what do I do? The moms have already rained on rain down social media hell on you by the time that 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 happened and you got to react to it because somebody wasn't paying attention the part of social media and being good at is paying attention probably more than you want to so it really helps if you're kind of a social butterfly to begin with now we do get into other issues like having um this this overabundance of noise and and notifications and responses and what that does to your endorphins or it does to your sanity sometimes, right? And and I and and that is something you need to manage. That's not the context of what we're trying to do here, uh, unfortunately. And and you have to, you know, you know, uh, hustle, hustle, hustle. Make sure you get enough sleep, right? Um, um, you know, you need to figure out that balance and what that is. Um, it's a lot of times on a Saturday. I turn the watch off. I turn off the notifications. I, I just say, I'm not going to get into it today. I need a day off. And that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I think everybody needs that. You know, um, our friend Katie on, on the awesome cast this week was talking about how she went to her special place in Moraine State Park and just disconnected for a little bit. You know, she brought her laptop though. Interesting enough, but I guess there's not Wi-Fi up there in the state park. Probably. I don't know. Maybe it's a super fancy state park. But anyways, I digress. So, um, so again, just kind of that responsiveness, kind of having that, and, and something you can do as well um, if you're really integrated in Facebook. I know we just talked about on the last episode about how Facebook is screwing you over, but if you want to be more responsive, they're paying attention to that. You may notice a new stat over there as well. Um, even if you go to other pages, it'll say something like, this account, this page is very responsive to messages or very responsive to comments. And and that way I go to a page and say, because I, I have a lot of pages that I'm looking at for clients and, and they're managing the page more than I am. I'm more just kind of keeping an eye on and advising. And I see messages and then I see messages sit there. So they're not responsive to messages. And a lot of people, when they have pages, maybe they just don't think of messages or they don't have something coming to their phone, their iPad, their email, to know there's a message to begin with. Maybe they're not checking their page. That doesn't help, too. It needs tended to. All this stuff, Twitter, Facebook, social media, it's a garden. And in order for that garden to bloom some flowers, you have to tend it on a regular basis. I'll leave you with that. Because I'm probably not going to have a better thing to say this episode. Sorgatron.com. Check out everything. Sign up for the newsletter. Uh, check out our, our Lunch and Learns, our webinars. If you're in the Pittsburgh or out, we got something for you. Very specifically talking about podcasting in these next couple months. Um, and then we are going to uh, look to get into other social media topics uh, with uh, myself and, and some other of our uh, you know, members of the team over here at Sorgatron Media. I hope hope uh, uh, we're helping you with these tips. I, I know we're talking with some people the last couple of days that, that they've been. Uh, thank you for your feedback. I, I love I love I love to see that we're helping people figure out how to make stuff and connect with people. And I think that's really cool. Um, thank you, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.